Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimates 9 and to the sky. And look at this, I went ahead and installed complementary shaders, which I will show you right there. Complementary reimagined shaders, sorry. And wow, it is looking much better than I had expected. And I was expecting this basement to be very dark, but it's actually quite bright. I like it. Also, you may have noticed that uh, this is new, and that is indeed new because I've done a little bit of work off camera. And we have extended the island here. Well, I have extended the island. You were doing something else in, in the meantime. I don't, I don't know what. But uh, yeah, I extended the island here. So now we have plenty of room to play around with. Because today, my goal, if it would load, there we go, is to go ahead and get to getting started too. And move towards this. I want to get this automated. I want this system right here, if at all possible. Because with this, we'll be able to automate the resource getting of sieving gravel. Which, if you ask me, that would be really, really cool. Also, these machines has been running for a while. And uh, why is it still not running? Do I need to Right. So this has not been. Wait, that is set to input. This is power. Why are you not? Ah, what? What? I mean that. What? No, no, no. You're supposed to. Ah, auto eject. And why are you not auto inputting? I mean, I can solve it pretty easily. It's just a bit of a weird thing for it to not do. If I place this here, place the pipe there, and then make this into an output, I'm pretty sure that if I do this, that now it is actually working. For some weird reason, it wasn't working before, but it, 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 wanted, it wanted the pipe there. So I, I don't know why it wanted the pipe, but it wanted the pipe. So there we go. It got a pipe. Now I'm going to go to bed because uh, that was exhausting to figure that out. Ah, and look at that sunrise, isn't that nice? Anyways, let us now go ahead and take a look at this. It looks like that it wants us to get a little bit into Project E. And I'm also kind of looking towards this biogenerator stuff. It would be kind of cool, but I don't really have any automated organic matter yet. I mean, I have these, but yeah, we're, we're not going to get into that right now. That, that's a side, uh, side quest thing. We're going to go into this. Covalence dust are dusts are turned into other resources with the use of Project E. These are going to be used very soon. So we need to make this. Uh, I don't know why this is here. I know that. Uh, medium co covalence dust and high covalence dust. So this is cobblestone and I believe just normal coal. So that can literally be done. Oh, uh, no, it has to be charcoal. Why? 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 Why charcoal? Huh? Why? I mean, I can I can work with it, but why? I'm gonna use an entire piece of coal to burn that oak log. Does that annoy anyone? It, it kind of annoys me, but I'm gonna deal with it. Just like you're gonna have to deal with that. I'm dealing with it. Anyway, there we go. Low covalence dust. And now we need to make the medium one, which is literally an iron ingot and a piece of redstone. I mean, that couldn't be easier, honestly. So there we go. There we go. That is medium covalence dust. And then I need to make the high covalence dust, which is literally a piece of coal and a piece of diamond. Boom, just like that, and we have 40 of those. Nice. If we do that, we get four medium covalence dust. Next, it wants us to make the energy condenser. The energy condenser is a very simple converter. That machine is loud. I really, really, um, you know what? You know what? You know what? You, you know what? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, but uh, I'll run that off camera. <laughs> The energy condenser is a very simple converter which can turn items with an EMC value from one to another. Just place it, just place it in the top left slot and add some covalence dust. So we need to make this thing apparently, which requires an alchemical chest and obsidian. The alchemical chest is made like so, with some sort of stone, a diamond, some iron and a simple chest. So let's start with making that I guess. Our chemical chest has now been crafted just like that, a storage upgrade. So that is that, then we need four more diamonds, and then we need obsidian, which I need to figure out how I'm actually going to make with our limited resources. Ooh, barrel, bar barrel fluid mixing. That should be fairly easy if I can. Yeah, I need to spell some more stone, but with that done, it should be fairly easy. I just need seven cobblestone smelted to get a stone barrel and then I need to collect some lava but we have plenty and this is not using much so we should be good there. I just realized we do not have an infinite water source. This is annoying. So what I'm gonna have to do is break you, break you, break you and place you there and that should make an infinite water source like so. 
And now I can go ahead and block you, remove you, place you there. And now yeah, I can't do that. Oh, I'll place you back. And that's going to annoy people, isn't it? Uh, okay, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that for the sake of our sanity, just this one. But uh, we're, we're, not, we're not fixing that. Nope, deal with it. Now that I have the stone, I can go ahead and... Nope, that's not how to do that. Okay, you just scared the living daylights out of me, pal. Why? Why is this... Why? I hate... Uh, first of all, get out of here. Get... Get... Oh, I just heard footsteps. All I heard was footsteps, pal. I, I don't care. Please, beat it. Oh... I... I... I this... This mod pack with that guy is more scary than some of the micro formats that I played, honestly. It, uh, I just wanted to figure out how I made a stone barrel. There we go, that wasn't that hard now, was it? Got a creeper or something spawned. Oh, dear me. Right, okay, stone barrel. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so lava, place that, water, and obsidian. Lava, place, water, and I actually get the water back, that's sick. Places there, water, boom, lava, boom, water, boom, four obsidian, and we're still making more lava. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And then we could just go ahead and get rid of this, and boom, energy condenser. I like it. Let's put you there. I had charcoal. This entire time I had charcoal. Okay. Right. So with this, if I place it down, I can basically convert anything into EMC, if I remember correctly. So let's go ahead and do that. Some more high covalence dust. Crazy loot. Go visit the Project E quest slide to see how this mod can be used to get tons of resources. Understood. And so if we go to here, we're not going to do it right now. But this is basically a very crazy world that I have been into before. It is pretty cool. Uh, there's 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 the Philosopher's Stone is actually pretty cool to get. But I'm not going to get into that right now. We just needed to do that in order to move on to the next bit. But having that unlocked is really cool. Not to mention that this has unlocked this part, which now unlocks upgrading our smelting machine to a golden furnace, which unlocks all of these things up here, the, the factory augment, and also refined storage, applied logistics, and the ultimate farming machine. Given water power and sometimes fertilizers, this will automatically farm whatever seed you put in there, which could then be combined with the bio generator. I am so loving this, but that's another time because now we have the big moment right in front of us, which is this Skyblock Automated. Welcome to the custom auto sieve mod. These machines have no output inventory. The sieve outputs to the bottom and the hammers output to the front. Both output. Uh, both auto output so you can have an entire system built without any pipes. Note, these machines will not run without space in the output inventory. So this is kind of the thing I wish to replicate if I can, especially with the auto crafters uh, turning it directly into the furnace. In fact, we're not going to turn it into the furnace. We're going to turn it into the enrichment table chamber and then into the furnace. And I really hope I can actually hold on. I can make that factory often, can't I? It should be fairly easy to make uh, paper. I don't have paper. Uh, was that sawdust? Yeah, I can't. I can't say I have paper nor sugarcane, and I don't know how to get sugarcane. Oh, you you just sieve dirt. Okay, right. Well, that's another time. We need to do this. We need the flux sieve and the flux hammer. So for this, we need basically a lot of iron. And if I take a look at this, I have 12 iron ore. So that's going to convert it to 24. Plus, we already have 10. So that's going to be 34, which if my math is correct, that is 9, that is 18, that is then 5. So that is 23. Then we need 6. So that is 29. So we do have enough for the sieve. But then we need this as well. So yeah, basically, I need to sieve a lot more gravel. Wait, actually, if I get the auto sieve, I don't need to. Hold on. Rain wave. If I just get the flux sieve first, then we'll be pretty well on our way, I think. There we go. That's the boss. That's the chest, which is used to get the hopper. Then I need a sieve, which we got from the center block of this. Do I have grass seeds? I don't. I kind of want grass seeds, kind of, to be honest. There we go. That's the first nine iron ingots, which we can turn into an iron block. And there we go, our second block of iron, which should allow us to now make the Flux Sieve. That is half of the quest completed. 
which is going to output automatically to the bottom. So I'm going to make a quick actually yeah, quick chest for this. And this entire system is going to be over here. So for now, we're going to place this here. We're going to place you on top. And this obviously needs FE. We can upgrade this as well, which I assume. Yep, it's going to show us down there. Right. So this thing needs a mesh, which I think we're just going to take this flint mesh and then upgrade it a ton to finally get the diamond mesh. So we can give that that we can uh, input gravel here. And then I just need to lead some power cables over which I can use these energy pipes to do. And I'm just thinking now I could actually orientate these in a little bit of a more efficient way. I think actually it's this metallic infuser that is kind of in an awkward position. And those two don't actually connect. I'm gonna for right now do something that is quite ugly to look at, but it is going to be emphasized that it is temporary. It's not getting rest on flux. I probably need to use the wrench on it to say output. Oh, yeah, it's getting RF now. Okay, sick. You should know by now, by now that when you're doing anything electronical or networking or anything like that, it's always messy at the beginning in the process of setting it up. So now all I need to do is use the compressed hammer. Go ahead and compress all of this down. I no longer need to shift. I can just do it over here. So I compress this or not compress. I actually go ahead and hammer this. I should be able to add all of it to this thing right here. And it is saving. Granted, it is, I realize now, taking one at a time. Right. I may need to do some of this by hand anyway. Don't worry. It may seem completely useless at first, that uh, auto save thing, but in the end, this is going to be a pretty significant. I'm hoping anyway. Okay, so while things are running, I just have these eight dirts. I just want to try and sift them with the diamond sieves, see what we get. And that was absolutely not what I wanted. I wanted to get sugar cane, and that is apparently not doable with this. I need to get a lower tier mesh for this. Iron mesh. Hmm. Well, while that is cooking, we now have 26 iron, which means I can go ahead and make two of these. I can also go ahead and make a normal chest and make that into a hopper. And now I should have everything that I need except for the glass panes, which should now be done. So I should now be able to make the flux hammer basically using this hammer right there. Boom. And that is this completed and we get a cobblestone generator. Now immediately it is moving towards flux compactor, compacts all ore chunks into ores. Just like the sieve, this machine's auto outputs to the bottom. I really want this. However, that is a little bit more complicated because we need nether quartz. And how we get that is saving crushed nether rack. And to get that, we need to hammer nether rack. And to get nether rack, we need to um, combine witch water. Yeah, that, that's a process. Or we could go with craft a tier three. Or actually, I think we just need tier two. And for that, we need tier one. And for that, we need a machine frame. And for that, it should be pretty easy. But what I really want to get now is the upgrade, if possible. However, that is going to require green dye, which is uh, acquired from cutting tomato plants. Or if we go back, nope, not that. If we get green dye, I'm sure there's something we can. I mean, smelting. How do we get cactus here? We need to sell red sand uh, or normal sand. OK, I'm saved. <laughs> So that is in gold mesh, right? You can also now go ahead and make a normal string mesh upgraded to a flint mesh and then upgrade that to the iron mesh, which with this, I should now be able to take these and potentially get sugarcane. And I just got sugarcane just like that. Boom, sugarcane. I mean, I'm going, I'm still going to mesh these dirt because that's another sugarcane. Could I get another one? No. Okay, so for that, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this stuff. The pebbles are annoying. Need to get rid of this because I uh, don't need to weed that much. Need to go ahead and get rid of this and this. Place you down. Uh, is that that's bamboo? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not doing bamboo. Gonna do sugarcane, and hopefully this doesn't work. <laughs> I have been let down once again. Uh, Oh, well, next I need to sieve some sand to get the cactus. 
I actually haven't even looked at how to get terracotta yet. Oh, that's clay. And you get clay from mixing water with dust. Yep, that's easy. I'm just curious because I now have one cacti. Am I a bull? I don't like having that there. Uh, am I able to do this? No, I'm not. So I would need a dedicated cactus farm for this. Got it. Okay, so I should be able to go ahead and place if I remove you, very precious dirt and place you and go down and place you there, go back up, grab you, place you there, place sand and cacti. I can't place all the cacti there because obviously that won't work. Um, I, I guess we'll have one cacti. I, I guess one cacti will do the, the trick. Maybe Ooh, it's okay. Sure and these two cacti we can go ahead and smelt. So we can actually make this thing. But for that I'm also going to be needing even more sand for glass. I'll be back when I've made some progress. All right, ladies and gentlemen, progress has been done that we go. I just need to go ahead and smelt these pieces of clay here. And then we should be good to go. I have glass, I have green dye, I've made a bunch of blue dye, which I've turned one of the green guy, uh, green guy, green dye into a cyan dye, which we can then use to go ahead and make the cyan terracotta, because we need hardened terracotta, which we're getting over here. So this just needs to finish up, and then we will be ready in just a moment. Also, this thing has actually been doing quite a bit of work. I mean, it is slow because it is taking one at a time. We need to upgrade it, which we, we are obviously working on doing. I could also place the flux hammer in there. That then needs to be connected to the power network. And at some point, I'm sure we're going to be draining this for more than what we're actually producing. But I believe in theory, what we would be able to do if I move this once more is according to the uh, the drawing there, if we take this, move it, um, I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, that that does work, actually. And that is going to then do a thing in just 40 ticks that should move if I if I just empty this right in just a moment, right about now some gravel should be in here. No, that's not how that works. If I place it there, it's facing in. That's what it's not doing. I think I need to place it the other way around. Yep, now it's getting gravel. So like that, it is now doing its thing, filling this up. Nice. But so if this thing outputs to the top, I wonder if I could just place it here. I can. I don't even need this pipe. Oh, I like it when things are compact. And look at that. The clay is now done and I can place the crafting station next to it again. Right. So sign a uh, thing there, we need to go ahead and make this now, boom, then the gold upgrade. So this should make it so that it's now item, it's processing two items, and it's using 16 RF per tick. So that should make this a little bit faster. Now, ideally, I would like to make a lot more of these so I can use it to make the diamond upgrade. So it's processing 16 items. However, it's going to use 512 RF a tick. And this thing is starting to deplete a little bit, I think, because we're using so much, so we need more magmatic dynamos. This is clearly keeping up, so we can probably add one more of these here to, f to keep up with this, and we can probably add uh, quite a lot more windmills, to be honest. I mean, the wind generator was fairly cheap to make. And in fact, I believe I have everything that I need in order to... Nope, I'm missing a little bit. Just need a little bit more infused iron. But while that's doing its thing, I'm able to take these gold nuggets and I might grab a little bit more. And we can go ahead and make a couple of machine frames after we've actually gotten more iron. All right, ladies and gentlemen, progress has been made. I also, also, I want to say it's like 128 hours later or something like that, but we are not going to worry about that whatsoever. First thing that I want to try and do is get this made. Augment factory. Converse the furnace into a factory. I think this could be kind of cool to have for this iron furnace because it is, uh, it's right here. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm going to add it. And there we go. Now it's using power instead of coal. And I would assume... I would assume that it's faster. However, that assumption may be wrong. Let's just find out, I guess. Oh, wow, yeah, that is actually kind of faster. That's that's nice, actually. 
also this thing has a gold upgrade but this thing does not have a gold upgrade i need to fix that but that is not important what is important is that i can make two more of these bad boys if i've done my math right anyway so i have i can make one nope nope hold on hold on hold on i've made this i've prepared for this i've done work that is right there i can now go ahead and make one more energy tablet and with that i can make one and then i can nope uh, i can make two look at this i have made stuff behind the camera something i don't know all i need now is two more basic energy cables expand the island with some cobblestone here and cobblestone there move the fencing over a little bit also if i find, if, I, if i sound a little bit funny i i, I have allergies don't, don't don't laugh at me now if i place this here that's gonna look ridiculous and stupid so i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna keep moving it over until the distance is good enough no that's not good enough um that looks hideous that that looks that that is not what i really wanted with this uh hmm uh, yep yeah. need a little bit more of this i had to use two steel ingots purely because i wanted to space them out more this is a complete complete waste of space because in theory i could take this right i i could take this and place it right there and it's still outputting the exact same amount of power and I could, I could, I, I could even place it there. You know, I could even place it there, I, I, it's, it's, it's the same. But nope, I, I, uh, I, I didn't do that. I, I placing it there. I may change that in the future if I want to make more wind power. But yeah, there you go. And boom, that's another gold upgrade for you. So now it should be processing two items at a time. RF per tick is sixteen, so that is going to add that there. The okay. uh, hello. Is it actually not outputting to the si huh? Missing inventory on output side. That makes zero sense. Absolutely zero sense. Machines, oh, machines side. Okay, so it was right before. I guess I just couldn't see it because it was so fast. Because, oh, they're working at exactly the same. Yep, okay, that's why. That's why. Ignore me. Ignore me. Okay, moving on to the next thing that is in the quest tree here. If we get to get started part two, we have done this. I would like to do this at some point. That's going to take some time, though. However, I want to make these right here. And I should have everything for that except for the iron, which I also have because I did off-camera work. So let's go ahead and make a machine frame. That's that. Then we are going to craft a tier one of this. I just need some crafting tables and a couple of sticks for redstone torches. And one, two, three, four. There we go. So craft a tier one. And placing this down, it allows us to basically craft with only one slot from my understanding. However, I want to upgrade this to a craft a tier two. For that, I need two more crafting tables, which makes sense. There we go. Boom. And I think think this can do what we want it to. So if I take question is if it's going to be able to do this with multiple different ones. So all items in input slots are consumed. Uh, remember the current items in the internal and external buffs. Oh, uh, press to apply the recipe to the crafter. Wait, hold on. So I select the recipe that I say apply. Okay, so I can basically set up four of these instead of right okay so i thought for some reason i thought in my head that with this setup here that it showed here i would be able to go ahead and get something along the lines of let's say well hold on actually it's showing four for a reason because i can add, add four here how many different ones do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine I wonder if I get a crafted tier three, can it hold more recipe? It can. Okay, so I just need two of these and I will be able to still set up this because then this will just contain all the different recipes. So we have gold ore, then we would have iron ore, etc. Okay, I just need a lot more of these. Oh, and quest completed. There we go. And redstone torches. That's nice. <laughs> so I've run out of redstone. A little bit of a trick if you. I uh, want to make this process a little faster, get yourself a building wand, or just a wand, and you can place blocks a lot faster. And there we go, that is the crafter tier 3, the second one that is, so that we have 1 and 2. Boom. 
So in theory, now I can set up this system right here, which means I'm going to remove all of you. I'm going to remove all of this because this all needs to change and that was a mistake. <laughs> Okay, so this is our processing area. The ores are supposed to end up in this very chest, which means this right here is where we want to output items to. So I need to grab my item pipes and I need to connect it like so. The crafters will be placed here and here. These will be needing power, so I think I will actually be running power behind the wall so we get a clean, nice and clean look. Then we'll need another one, and I will be needing a chest, of which I have one right there. On top of this chest, we will have the flux sieve, just like that, including a golden upgrade, and the diamond mush. Mesh? Mush? Mesh. Mesh. A temporary block here. I will remove this torch and place it up there. We will have this over here. Machine is starting up indeed. And then I should be able to just place this down here and this should give it cobblestone and we can give this a golden upgrade. Now comes the fun part. I need to take one of each of these ore chunks, which should result in around, I think it was nine. Nine different ores, silver, a tin, tin, already have that. Uranium I don't think we'll need, zinc. I think these are the different ones and these are nine. We also have emeralds and diamonds coming out of this thing. Um, but I think... Oh, I need to actually remove that. Hold on. I also need to set this to output, output, and output. Question is if I need to add a filter to this. A basic pipe upgrade. I may I may, I may, may need to. I may need to because I think it might take from the, the thing. And setting a filter for this as well might be beneficial too. Uh, yeah, I may need some more redstone. I need to set this up as well for dusting and sand, by the way. Oh, yeah, this is a lot. Okay, no recipe. I'm going to basically tell it to do copper. Then I'm going to select the next one, which is going to be gold. Then the next one, which is going to be iron. I really hope that this is going to work the way I want it to. I could be completely wrong, and it's not actually going to do it. There we go, sink, and then we will be going with silver. And the bottom one is simply just going to be osmium, basically. Just like so. So that is set. Um, this is obviously not running because it doesn't have a power at the moment. Also, this acts as a light source, actually, so that's kind of cool. Uh, how am I going to feed this power? I think the easiest way is probably to... Huh. And these don't connect. So yeah, definitely I need to get behind this thing. Oh, hello, my good friend. Do you have anything for me that is actually useful? No? Oh, how unfortunate. Okay, now this is gonna be a bit... Uh... Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, this is... No one said this would be easy, okay? No one said this would be easy. Okay, power, power... I have no idea where the energy cube is, so I should probably figure that out. Hello, let me out, please. Thank you. Okay, place the water here. Go down very slowly. Take power from this. I'm sure there's a much better way of doing this, but this is the way that we're doing it for now. Uh, that's that, so I need to go ahead and place the bucket here now. Need to actually get rid of this block. And can I stand in here? Uh, uh, please, uh, please, please cooperate. Please get in there. Thank you. Okay. Place you there. Place you there. Definitely need to cover this up again. Uh, then do this. And please don't take away my water. I think I can do this from here now. Basically, I have just run out of power conduit, haven't I? Yep, that is exactly what has happened here. I just need a couple more. For that, I need a lot more redstone. Oh no, that's hideous. No, uh, no, 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 no. I can't do that. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do this. This, I can't do. Okay. Nope. This, this is wrong. This is wrong. I'm going to give it power elsewhere. These two, however, can get power easily uh, from right. Uh, bruh, bruh. Come on. Ugh. There. Boom. You now are not getting power. Oh. I need to use this wrench. Ugh. Okay, now I should have everything that I need to power this. I really, really, really need the wrench from mechanism. 
or I guess what I'm trying to get is the configurator, but that's that looks complicated, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Gonna lead power over to these fellas right here. So these are now running, should be running out of energy. No, you're definitely not. These should have power as soon as I've configured the pipe back here to be output. Yep, that's outputting. Should output now anyway. Uh, they're not getting power though, and that is because I need to set this. The front, right, back, set that to output, and now these are getting power too. Right, I think we are doing it. Machine is working, so this can get a lot of gravel if I have any spare. Just so we can see how this is actually going to work. So everything is here, so I need... Yeah, I definitely need filters because... This 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 is not gonna work, is it? Uh, yeah, I need basic filters. Oh, quest completed. Pipe upgrades. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is actually working. I just need to go ahead and swap these fellas out. So this one with all the ones there should go there. This should go here. I need to swap these. So this is not going there, but this is going there. So this is going to get the majority of the items. However, we have an issue, and that is that this. Is currently also getting things like amethyst, flint, you can see the stuff is here. This just needs to be changed to output, and it's actually taking the relevant stuff into this chest, which then can be connected to this. Oh dear, don't do that. There we go. Okay, nice. So this is basically now running completely automatically. However, we need to get osmium to get up here, and I don't think I can actually do that unless I do something weird. I, de I need some sort of filtering for this because I can add a filter in here, but I can't tell it which pipe to go to. With that said though, now that we're running all the machines, basically, we are actually like, the, the this is running, the enrichment chamber is running, the furnace is running. We're keeping up with the power. I am very much surprised. This is hideous, but ignore that. All I need to do is figure out how I get osmium from here to up here instead, and potentially all the emeralds. And, mm, yeah, the emeralds and the lattice and such needs to go as well. Some tweaks needs to be made, clearly, but this is now essentially working. What I want to do before wrapping up the episode, I'll do some tweaks off camera, because this episode I think is getting very long. However, I need to set up something for not dust, but sand. All right, never mind. What I saw was red sand. The usage of red sand could actually be saved to get redstone, and the redstone would be a higher percentage, but I thought that would be also normal sand. Forget it. I need to save dust. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that means I need this leading into another one, leading into another. I, I need two flux hammers. Oh, dear. Looks like aluminum is actually not being used, which is interesting. Uh, it looks like it's not in here, so I actually need aluminum up here as well hmm this is very interesting ladies and gentlemen i'm going to call this episode here i need to configure this a little bit more so that the diamonds and whatnot are not going here i need to figure out how i'm going to set this up for set and also i would like to speed this up a bit i would like to have the diamond upgrade which also is going to require some more work so uh yeah also if you have any tips or tricks with this on how to filter and stuff like that do let me know down below in the comments but for that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed the video, and until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.